Hello everyone, welcome back to Ming Math Club. Today we have a nice simplification problem that it is actually a tricky exam question. So here we have to simplify this one that square root of 121 minus square root of 120 whole square root. So we have to find the value of this one um, without using calculator here. Now let's start our solution. Our problem is 121 square root minus 120 square root and whole square root that is equal to first of all we see that it is a uh, 121 square root so it is equal to that 11 now putting here 11 minus this 120 if we just write this 124 times 30 so 4 time, times 30 is equal to 120 whole square root now here we will get that 11 minus according to this uh, exponential property if we have a times b whole square root it is equal to square root of a times square root of b so this can be written as square root of 4 times square root of 30 whole square root now our next step will be that is square root of 11 minus square root of 4 is equal to 2 and square root of 30 can also be written as 5 times 6 5 times 6 which is equal to 30 now our next step is here 11 minus 2 times we can uh, write this one according to this property that 2 times square root of 5 times square root of 6 whole square root now here we have square root of this 11 can also be written as 5 plus 6 which is 11 and minus 2 times square root of 5 times square root of 6 now here we can make uh, this expression a perfect square so for this purpose we have to write this one is a squared and it will be b squared so minus 2 times a times b now this 5 is uh, equal to square root of 5 whole squared and similarly 6 is equal to square root of 6 whole squared now putting here we will get square root of that square root of 5 whole squared and it is plus square root of 6 whole squared minus 2 times square root of 5 times square root of 6 whole square root now here we see that according to algebraic formula if we have a squared plus b squared minus 2 times a times b it is equal to a minus b whole squared so applying this identity here then we will get it is our a squared it is b squared minus 2 times a times b so we have our a is square root of 5 and our b is minus square root of 6 whole squared and whole square root here we have so if we just cancel this square with square root we have uh, actually here we will get absolute value here so we just write here absolute value and square root of 5 minus square root of 6 now the absolute value here we just put why we use this because here we see that uh, this square root of 5 is actually square root of 5 is actually less than square root of 6 i mean that this um, square root of 6 is greater so here we will get uh, a negative uh, value it means that we have to just write that negative times square root of 5 minus square root of 6 so by multiplying this negative sign into parentheses we will get square root of 6 here minus square root of 5 so it is our final answer that we see that uh, if we just uh, check on the value of this square root of 6 so it will be approximately 2.449 and here uh, it is approximately equal to 
so by uh, just round off we get 2.545 uh, here 2.45 here so it will be 2. Point, um, that is 24 now 2.45 is actually it is greater than 2.24 so here if we just subtract these two then we will get that 0 0.21 so actually it is our final value of uh, simplification form of on uh, this one and this problem so here we have it is our final answer or if we just use uh, the value of this the square root we will get 0 0.21 approximately so it is our answer now we are going to just review problem step by step here i hope you have enjoyed this video so that's it for today don't forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting contents thanks for watching thanks for your support have a nice day goodbye